Hey everyone, welcome back to Paul's Q. Today we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna do some St. Louis cut ribs on the Weber kettle with the rotisserie. Try something out, let's see how it works. Let's take a look at what we're getting into, see our rack of ribs, and go from there. Okay, here's what we're working with. St. Louis rack. Gonna give it a little trim. Nothing fancy. Just take a little bit of this fat off. This is the back plate after being cut off to create our St. Louis. You guys have seen this before. Just trim off some of that excess fat. <clears throat> I'm going to pull the membrane. I don't want to bore you guys with all that. And then to hit it up, I'm going to season it with sea salt and black pepper. And that's it. So let me get this trimmed up and all seasoned up and everything else. And we'll pick back up and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it next. Hey, let's get this rack ready for the barbecue. As you can see, I have my spit rod. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I don't know if this is going to work, how well it's going to work, but we can find out. We're gonna try something new over here today. See how well we do. Like I said, not sure if it's gonna work out well, if it's not. But we're trying it. That's all that matters. A little piece of flap there. There we go. It's coming over. There we go. All right, I think that's good enough for my liking. Let's try this out. Well, let me get the barbecue ready and show you guys what we're working with. See you guys there. All right, here's how our, uh, we're set up. We got our rotisserie ring on and we're burning some nice logs in there. I got hickory burning right now. Let's go ahead and get these ribs in. Flame's gonna kiss the meat and it'll be great. Oops, sorry about that. New setup with my tripod here. I get you guys out. Get you guys in for a better look. There's what we're working with open pit style rotisserie rack of ribs. St. Louis rack. Well, there you have it. We're gonna let this roll and we'll see what it looks like in about 15 20 minutes. See what we're looking at. Okay, so we've been a half an hour now. Let's see what we're looking at after half an hour. I've gone ahead and added another split to the fire. We got a nice coal base set up underneath there. That split's already going. There's what our ribs are looking like. Hour in. Well, if I forgot to mention before, after I put the spit rod on the ribs, I realized that I had forgot to put the clips. There we go. So I removed the ribs, put the clips, otherwise the rod would have been spinning and the meat wouldn't. So make sure you use your clips, grips, whatever the hell they're called. Just use those just to secure it so that it will rotate with everything. Open pit style. Well, we're gonna let this go. We'll pick back up in a bit. All right, it's been another hour. Now we're at a total of an hour and a half right now. Still got our wood burning nice. Inside there, there's what our ribs look like. I'd say another 15 20 minutes and I'll start probing them to see if they're tender. We got a little bit of pullback happening. See right there. So 
We'll pick back up when I'm gonna start probing these and see if they're tender. All right, it's been another 20 minutes. Let's probe these now. See what we got for tenderness. Don't mind the kids in the background. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. No. I'm gonna let this grow for another five minutes or so. I'm gonna pull them off. They're probably pretty tender right now. Let me finish this up, get these pulled off, and we'll slice into them. We got them off. The moment of truth. Slice. Nice crisp. Nice and tender. Mm. Those are good. Those are really good. Well, there you see it. Rotisserie, open pit style, St. Louis cut ribs. Give it a try. You won't be disappointed. If you guys have a rotisserie for your Weber kettle, go for it. Give this a try. I recommend it. This was really good. Better than I expected. Well, if you guys like this one, hit the subscribe. See you guys all on the next one. Bye.